In this video, I'd like to talk about how to add and subtract polynomials. So we have this example problem, and in this problem we're given two polynomials, g and p, which both look to be quadratics, and we need to take g and then add it to p, and then put that polynomial in standard form. So when adding polynomials, the main strategy is to combine like terms. So we'd want to combine the t squared terms, we'd want to combine the t terms, and we'd want to combine the constant terms. So there are several different ways you can do this. You can actually just line these up in a column, or you can add it by just combining like terms. So let me rewrite it using the more straightforward way, and then we'll add it by columns too, so you can see both methods. So when I have g plus b, so we have this polynomial g, 3t squared minus 5t plus 6, and then we're going to add this entire polynomial p to it. Now, with these problems, you want to be careful, because technically, since we're adding the entire polynomial, we're substituting p for this entire equation here, this expression. And so you would really need to put it in parentheses, minus 8t squared plus 7t minus 9. Now, since we're doing addition, you're effectively going to distribute positive 1 to all three of these. And so the parentheses don't really matter. We can actually just drop them. And the parentheses really only matter when we're doing subtraction. But I just wanted to point that out now so that when we do come to a subtraction problem, it makes a little bit more sense. So we could just drop these parentheses because like I said, we're just adding this expression or in other words, it's like we're multiplying the expression by positive one, which won't change anything. So let's rewrite it without the parentheses. And from here, we just want to combine the like terms. So let's do the t squared terms. I'll call those the a terms. The t terms can be the b terms. And the constants, we will call those c, just to keep it organized. Uh, like I showed you in a previous video, you can also use an underlining method, actually like I did up here. So either way works, but I feel like letters work better, especially when these polynomials get bigger. So we're combining the a terms first. You got three t squares, and we're taking away eight of them. And so we'd have negative five t squared left. Then you have minus 5t plus 7t, which is just plus 2t. And then plus 6 minus 9 would be minus 3. So when you add these polynomials, you get minus 5t squared plus 2t minus 3 as our final answer. But like I mentioned, there is another method. We could, in theory, just stack them and then add straight down. So just adding by columns works as well. So when we do add these... We're just going straight down, 6 minus 9, that's minus 3, minus 5t plus 2t, well, that's just plus 2t, and 3t squared minus 8t squared, well, that's minus 5t squared. So you get the same answer, but just slightly different methodology. So let's continue and do some more problems. And now we're going to subtract. So the wording of this can be a little bit tricky, so you want to be careful with these problems, because we're subtracting this entire polynomial from this one. So we're going to take this 2y squared plus 7y plus 11, and we're going to subtract this one from it. So 2y squared plus 7y plus 11, and we're going to subtract this entire polynomial. And again, it is important to put this in parentheses. Now, since we're subtracting, the parentheses will actually play an important role here. Now, if we're adding these, it wouldn't matter too much, but since we're subtracting, it matters quite a bit. And the reason why I say it matters is that we're subtracting this whole thing. And effectively, every term in this expression is being multiplied by this negative one. This negative sign is going to distribute to all of these terms. So let's do that. Let's distribute the negative. So you get 2y squared plus 7y plus 11 minus 8y squared. This becomes a plus 5y. And this becomes minus 7. So essentially, all the signs in your polynomial that you're subtracting became their opposite. So now that we've simplified this, let's combine like terms. So we'll call the y squareds a, we'll call the y terms b, and the constant terms can be c. So 2y squared minus 8y squared, well that's minus 6y squared, 7y plus 5y, that's 12y, and 11 minus 7 would be positive 4. So when we perform this operation, this was our final difference between the two polynomials. And let's keep moving. 
So now we are starting with P and subtracting Q from it. So this one we can do in a column. So minus 4B squared plus 6B minus 9. And you could also do this like we did the previous one. Either way works fine. So whichever method you prefer. And we're subtracting this whole polynomial. So you got to be careful. You have to put it in parentheses. 7B squared minus 2B minus 5. So the reason you want to be careful with the parentheses is that technically you should distribute this negative, And then you can just add them. Or we can just subtract. So minus 4B squared minus 7B squared. Well, that's minus 11B squared. You have 6B minus negative 2B. So that's the same as adding 2B. So that's 8B. And we have minus 9 minus negative 5 or minus 9 plus 5, which would be minus 4. So minus 11B squared plus 8B minus 4 would be our final answer when finding P minus Q. And let's move forward. So we have another subtraction one. We're going to subtract this polynomial, the 3x squared plus 7x minus 4, from this one here, 8x squared minus 6x plus 2. So let me rewrite it. We have 8x squared minus 6x plus 2, and we're subtracting this first polynomial from this one. So we are subtracting this entire expression, so we'll put it in parentheses, 3x squared plus 7x minus 4, and now we'll distribute that negative to everything. So you get the 8x squared minus 6x plus 2, minus 3x squared, minus 7x, and then minus negative 4 would become plus 4. Now combining like terms, the squared terms, 8x squared minus 3x squared, that's 5x squared. Then we have the x terms, minus 6x's, and then we take away 7 more x's, so that would be negative 13x's. And then we have plus 2, plus 4, so that would just be plus 6. So 5x squared minus 13x plus 6 is the final answer when subtracting this polynomial from this one.